Hello, and welcome to Andrew Vaughn's Knockout Championship for the Custom Standard Format. Um, I'm Caillou, and today we're going to be watching the round one match between Seismic Lons, who is on a uh, Jeskai Full Automation, and me, who is on a uh, Blue Green uh, Butler combo. So both of our decks are kind of mid rangey decks which have like grindy elements, but have a combo quote-unquote finish to end the game. In my case, it's using the titular card Butler Droid um, to essentially go infinite and gain infinite life and hopefully also get infinite uh, flicker triggers to kill my opponent. On Seismic Sends, it is playing full automation, which is a six-mana spell which allows you to dump all artifacts from your hand onto the battlefield. Very powerful. Hmm. So Seismic playing a Currency it's a discovery, which is like a saga, except uh, on the final mode, instead of sacrificing itself for a large effect, it stays with a static effect. It's a powerful ramp tool, and if Seismic has full automation, it can let him achieve full automation turn 4, which is a terrifying prospect. Um, on my end, I kind of just have to play this island and play Croakfolk Troubadour, which is a cantripping creature, nothing super impressive. But it did let me draw into a Talia Cyber Wayfarer. I won't be able to cast it next turn, though. That's oh, I will be, actually, because I have two islands. And then once Talia comes down, I can start flickering my Croakfolk Troubadour to get value out of it. Um, it's just Talia is a very powerful Planeswalker because she's basically just um, plus one, get a flicker trigger, which in a deck like mine, which is all about um, flicker triggers, is very powerful. So tapping three, ooh, playing five, interesting, for a Gilded Lotus. Okay. So next turn we'll have access, that it, it makes sense because next turn you'll have access to full automation. Um, I don't, the one weakness of my deck is that it doesn't really have ways to interact, but oh, Butler Droid and Witch of Shifting Waters. This is the combo. So, I can't play uh, the I can't play um, both of them this turn, and so I would rather, and I would also I also need a Elvish Spirit Caller. So for now, I'll just Talia, and then plus one her. Oh, in response. Oh wow, automatic override. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, I'll just be, I'll just get shut down. And this is a counter spell, which lets him draw a card. So it's card, it's like card neutral, which is really good. So as a tempo play, that was really strong. If he just untaps and plays full automation here, I'm in big trouble. So currency is now online. He can sacrifice an artifact to draw a card, which means that his deck will continue to have gas, essentially. <laughs> I'm obviously not going to sacrifice the Golden Lotus, but otherwise, that is strong. Okay, tapping five for, for Mecha Dragon. Um, could have tapped this differently to be able to give it haste. Um, okay, so that's a four turn clock. That's very scary. Um, so I have, on my end, I have Butler Droid, which doesn't really do much. Um, I can Refuge Warden plus Croakfolk Troubadour this turn. Hmm. I want to save the Witch of Shifting Waters so that I can combo off, but I guess I'll get an Elver Spirit. If I get an Elver Spirit Caller, I'll be able to combo off anyways. So, I guess first things first, let's just cast... Let me cast this Croakfolk Troubadour. Okay, Tempered Onclim, not super great. Um... I guess just play a land and then pay two. And then wait, actually, is there a better is there a better line here? If I put Witch of Shifting Waters on the Croakfolk Troubadour, if I draw into uh, if I draw into a Spirit Caller next turn, will I be able to cast it? Um, Butler Droid untap two lands. No, I won't be able to cast it next turn anyways. So there's no point in playing the witch for now. So I'll just play the Refuge Warden, gain three life as a buffer, and go to end. 
So for now I have like a pretty stacked board of tiny stuff, but it's not really going to help me here in this matchup. So plays a Solemn Simulacrum, very strong. And could probably immediately sacrifice it to get the draw card effect. Or sack it to draw or sack it with currency to draw two cards. There's lots of options here, and none of them are very appealing. Okay, so it's gonna attack me. So I'll take seven here. Ouch. Yeah, not what I not where where I wanna be. Um let's see though if I can stave off the inevitable doom that seems to be rapidly approaching here. So is there any line I have with Witch and Butler Droid? Without, no, without Elder Spirit Caller, I really don't have anything. So I think for now, I'll play Butler Droid. So if I top deck, um, so if I top deck, uh, an Elder Spirit Caller next turn, I can go off. Oh, tapping four for a Skyguard Sovereign. So this is going to further buff the Mecha Dragon. And Gilded Lotus for a Burnished Heart. Yeah, this is a big, big field. Oh god, and a Paradise Mantle for that one extra Skyguard trigger. Fortunately, Skyguard, Solemn, Banished, none of them have haste. Or Skyguard and Bed Burnished don't, don't, don't have haste. Solemn, I can chump with something. And uh, Mecha Dragon... Oh god. Okay, he's gonna this is actually a crazy combo. So pays two to activate mecha or like sacrifices two artifacts, activates Mecha's Dragon's ability, gets two more artifacts, so Mecha Dragon becomes a 10-10. Or sorry, 9-9. So I will block this, but I'm just forced to take nine in the air. Oh, and before damage can sack the solemn and then use that mana to get plus one to the mecha dragon. Or plus two. Okay. So next turn, I think I just die to Mecha Dragon. Let's pass here. What? Hmm. Oh, Lazarus Conjuring could actually be good. Lazarus Conjuring x equal to what can I do here? Um, I can gain six life, but I think I would also gain six life by... Or I could Lazarus Conjuring x equals two on the Croakfolk Troubadours? But that doesn't seem very good. Hmm. What I put? Hmm. No. None of the options with conjuring at this point in the game are very appealing. I basically just want to gain six life. And the most efficient way of doing that is playing Butler Droid. And then using its ability. No, actually. Sorry, that wouldn't gain six life. That would gain me three life. Hmm. But if I let him untap, he could untap and have a counter spell in hand. So I might just want to nip or like do whatever I'm doing right now. Okay, so I'm gonna pay three for tempered onklin, gain three life. I'm gonna pay one. Witch of shifting waters. It's gonna come down. Onto my butler droid. Then I'll have it ETB as a copy of uh, Tempered Onkelim. So that way I can gain six life right there. And then it's uh, and then next turn I can hopefully do some shenanigans with Lazarus Conjuring if I need to. But I could I could easily just die. Oh, and Skyguard Sovereign also has flying. Hmm, that's a that's a big problem. So swings for nine. Pays four. So I'm down to one life and can Yeah, that's a problem. Oh no, I forgot Gilded Lotus also buffs it. So yeah, I'm just dead. Oof. <coughs> so going into game two, hmm. Definitely want more interaction. I think Epic of Jabaya is just the nut here. It basically says destroy a few or more of uh, what's in his deck 
think the Refuge Wardens are the least important card in this deck. They're pretty, um, like, replaceable. Um, I think I'll take out one Lazarus Conjuring. Do I want any of the... The Consults could be good, but I don't... But I think I want to be tapping out a lot of the time. Um, Petrification, I think, yeah, those are basically only... But he is a combo deck. Hmm. No, I think I'm fine with this. So, hmm. This can... I can't turn 3 Atalia here, but I can turn 2 Visionary, and it's a decent hand, so I think I'll keep. Okay, that island will let me um, turn 3 the Talia. For now, I'll just Elvish Visionary, though. Who doesn't have a turn 2 play. Might have him. Does he have Mystic Rebuttals in this list? Well, if he does, I'm I'm okay with, like, ru like running into them here. So let's try it. Okay. So get to resolve Talia. Gonna flicker the Elvish Visionary to draw a card. Hitting a lot of lands here. Don't want to be doing that. Okay, so as a Containment Priest in response to my Elvish Visionary. That's very annoying for sure. So it's going to attack me for two. Or he's going to attack me for two. Okay, I'm fine with that. So meanwhile, my play here is... Hmm, does this count? It's a creature, so I can still use um, her flicker ability on other stuff. And so I use her as pseudo ramp. I'm going to cast an auspicial sphinx here. Ooh, so I hit two lands and a spirit caller. Okay, I guess I'll take the spirit caller for now. Um, and I think I do I bottom the rest? Yeah. So the containment priest is a problem, and I don't know if I have a way of removing it. So I might just have to play like the actual legit game here at this point, which is not going to be fun. So actually, I can I should save the. Spirit Caller for a turn, for like my combo turn, because Spirit Caller will let me bounce the Containment Priest. So I think what I should do here is, um, probably play a Forest, or play a Slumbering Grotto, tap 4, play the Butler Droid. So just gonna automatic override. He doesn't have any artifacts, just gonna use it to cantrip. So Butler Droid comes in. I'm gonna gain three life. Then let's see. Let's return this forest to my hand. And I will draw two cards. Hitting a witch and a spirit. So I have witch into spirit. I have spirit caller and witch next turn. Which is kind of exactly the line I need. Um, in start of combat, I'm going to attack with the Auspicial Sphinx. Okay, so then... Let's do this again. Okay, I think Epic of Jabaya is just the best card here. Because it can take out everything. Like, it, it's just a giant mana sink to take out whatever he has. So next turn... I play Elder Spirit Caller, bounce the Containment Priest, um, play Witch, and then I go Infinite. I should do it main two. Okay, so he's going to tap out. I'm fine with that. Solemn Simulacrum. Seal of Judgment. Okay. On my Butler Droid? Okay. Whew. I'm actually fine with this because this still lets me combo off. It... Unfortunately, it does not let me get um, infinite draws as I would like. But, <coughs> okay, let's figure out how I want to sequence this. So, the first thing I know I want to do, play this Tropical Channel. Um, should I do anything with Talia first? Like, should I bounce... Um, maybe I should just add all the mana... Um, bounce a land, and then try to hit, I could try and hit, um, yeah, actually, that, that, that sounds, that's something that's good to do, but for first, let's just, uh, start comboing off, so, 
tab four, Elvis Bird Caller, Bounce the Containment Priest. And then now I can go infinite with Witch on the Butler. And oh, okay. So yeah, Seismic is just going to concede there. So we're going through game three. Um, do I want Petrification for a Containment Priest? Maybe, but could also just Elver Spirit Caller like I did there to bounce it and then combo off. So I think I'm fine with this main board. Maybe. Yeah, I think I, I need all of, all of what I have. So um, let's stick with this. Hmm. So I don't have a turn to play. I have three lands. Talia without anything to really use it on. Epic is good, but then like... Do I want it here? And like double witch without anything to inspire it on is bad. I don't have any card advantage. Since I'm going second, I'll get a, another card anyways. Hmm. But I also do have three lands here. I don't know. This could be a risky keep if I do keep it. But Epic is just so good versus his entire deck. I'll keep and then can believe in the power of value. Let's see how this goes. Well, hitting another Epic of Job. Okay, so Seismic's going to tap out for currency. Pretty good with this. I think my plan right now should be... Oh, Tempered Unclum. Tempered Unclum is pretty good. Um, so should I play the Tempered Unclum now? It can attack next turn. I can flicker it with Talia. I guess. And I also have Witch on it. I can put like Witch on it and do some silly stuff. Or if I get another creature. Hmm. Okay, so play Tempered Onclim, drain him for three. And I have two Epic of Jobs if I need them for anything. So Seismic paying four for a Solemn Simulacrum. Interesting. So we're going to get some ramp going on. On my end, this is a, a bit of a breath of fresh air. Or not a breath of fresh air, but like, it's... um. It allows me to be, uh, like breathe, like breathe without worrying, because um, I can now play my Talia without having to worry. Um, I have Witch and Butler. Um, if I play Talia, I can minus two and dig for something. But I think for now the safer play is just Tempered Onclim, and like start to beat down with that. So I'm gonna Inspirit. This onto Witch of Shifting Waters. This way I get Solemn, Solemn Simulacrum's ETB. So I'll get an island. Then pay three for Talia. So I'll uh, flicker of Witch of Shifting Waters. So all in all, a pretty productive turn. And now I have a bunch of mana to, to Epic of Job if I need to. Of course, Seismic could just full automation and dump a crazy hand right here. That would be very scary. So I'm going to play another currency. Wow. And it's tapping out again. I'm happy for this. It's going to Seal of Judgment. Take the Talia? Yeah, okay. And gains three life, so undoes my Onkelim. So unfortunate, but... I think I can still be okay with this because of a few things. First, I have my Epic of Jabaya. Um, so I can Epic of Jabaya. Can I still? I can't Butler Droid right after, but I can Butler Droid and then um, Epic of Job for X equals 1. I think at this point it's fine to just give him the ramp if I, if I just start pressuring. Or give, hmm, should I give him the card draw? Maybe not, actually. I think I win in a long, so in a long game situation. So I'm going to pay for Butler Droid. Untap two permanents. Then Epic of Jabaya, X equals one. 
taking out the seal of judgment. Then I still have one mana with which I will play Witch of Shifting Waters onto my Butler Droid. So I'm going to copy the Solemn Simulacrum, untap two permanents, and I'll draw two cards. Elvish Visionary, Witch of Shifting Waters. So which, which do I want to play? I think I could replay Witch on the Solemn. So I copy Tempered Oncle and I'm going to ping him for three. I think the plan of just turbo, just turbo tempered him might actually work if he doesn't have uh, more Seal of Judgments. And if at any point I hit an Elvish Visionary, I can just go off. Of course, if he draws into a Containment Priest, then it becomes a much dicier issue. So it's going to be tapping five for Mecha Dragon. Okay. I'm fine with this. Next turn, I think I can just Epic of Jabaya it. He's going to give it haste. Okay. Scary, but not undealable. Okay, he's going to kill Talia. Sucks, but what you going to do? So he's going to draw a card and play Psycorp Engineer. Okay. So... On my end, what do I want to do here? I have an ungodly amount of mana, first of all. So, let me just think about this. So, I have Solemn Simulacrum copy, Witch of Shifting Waters, which is copying a Butler Droid. Well, first things first, I think I should Elvish Visionary. And see if I hit a spirit caller. Because if I do, I just win the game on the spot. No, I hit another mushroomed lagoon. Why God? Why would you do this? Um then let's see. Can I Epic of Jabaya for something sufficiently large to actually like do something? Let's see. So I can do one, two, three. I can do it for X equals two. So I can destroy Mecha Dragon and buff something. Hmm. Not actually a bad idea, not gonna lie. Um, so yeah, maybe you might as well do that. Then would I want to like witch onto something else? I could witch onto the visionary, yeah. So I'll play the tropical channel. And then... And then... Buff up this witch. Let's start combat. I'll swing with these three so swing for 10 yeah it's gonna chump the witch of shifting waters but take six main two i'm gonna play another witch and copy tempered drain three yeah all in all not bad work and I think, I don't think there's any way he can really get out of this. He has a bunch of mana though, so it could maybe just go like Dystopolith, make a huge board, and then make me sad. At that point though, I still have like the combo as backup. My card flow has run out though. But that's it. Good games. Oh, whoo! So, me on Butler combo takes a 2-1 over Seismic Lawns on Jeskai Full Automation. Good games to both of us. That was a tense set, but in spirit is a dumb mechanic. Until next time, this is Caillou signing out.